I'm Dr. Sidney Smith, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. at the American College of Cardiology Scientific Sessions, where the Fourier trial was presented at opening session today. This trial is a blockbuster. It's exactly the type of information we've needed about PCSK9 inhibition. Large trial, over 25,000 patients were treated for two years with PCSK9 inhibition added to maximal statin therapy. Now the entry LDL cholesterol is important because these are patients whose entry LDL cholesterol was up around 93 in spite of or after maximal statin therapy. And these are also high risk patients. So very important to point out, we're not talking about every patient. We're talking about high risk patients with an annual mortality that calculated out close to 5% that had been treated first with maximal statin therapy and still had LDL cholesterols up in the 93, 94 range. They were then placed on PCSK9 inhibition for two years, evolocumab, and followed with significant cardiovascular endpoints recorded. What we saw first of all was that the reduction in LDL cholesterol was taken down into a range of 30 milligrams per deciliter. Several patients even lower than that. Important information there is that they tolerated this low LDL cholesterol without any serious side effects. Very important finding. So the drug can be used safely. Now the next question is, does it work? And the answer is yes, that over a two year period, there was a reduction in acute cardiovascular events, cerebrovascular, but no change in total mortality or cardiovascular mortality at two years. This leaves us with the number needed to treat around 74 which is a little high. But if you calculate out the slope of the curve, which I did, you'll see that at four years, if this trend continues, we would find a number needed to treat that would be close to 25, which is well within the cost effectiveness range for this very expensive drug. So we know now uh, that the outcomes are there. We, we've got clinical outcomes which we needed, not just how well does it lower cholesterol. We know that the lowering of cholesterol uh, with this type of medication is very effective. We need now further follow-up data. We'd like to see, for instance, that follow-up at four years, which will be presented in the Odyssey trial next year, hopefully at American Heart Sessions, uh, that this trial will give us that four-year follow-up, which we need to see for cost effectiveness. Uh, but in general, we are leaving this very important presentation here, the Fourier trial, with the knowledge that high-risk groups on maximal intensive statin therapy treated with PCSK9 have improved clinical outcome, and it happens without any major problems and side effects. Good trial, a good meeting, and I think this is going to be very helpful to the AHA uh, ACC guidelines, which we are currently writing. We had our first meeting of the ACC AHA guideline committee on cholesterol lowering yesterday, and today we already have new evidence to look at. So lots of work to do, but I think we can do good things for patients with the type of information we get from the Fourier trial.